commercial program. KDOC is not responsible for claims and representations made by the sponsors of this program. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks, and I've got some great news. Looking for love in the 90s has just gotten easier. No matter what your age, no matter what type of person you're looking for, the Matchmaker Network can help you. In fact, it has already helped thousands of people find friendship, romance, and even the newlyweds of their dreams. Let the Matchmaker Network help you meet your match. Call today. Listen, there's a party going on right on your telephone. It's America's ultimate party line, and it's what everyone's talking about. Try it now. Find out how. Call toll-free. Imagine right now you can talk live with up to eight friendly people who want to meet you. It's fun, it's exciting, and you can try it now. Find out how. Call toll-free. Don't be shy. You can listen in until you hear someone you want to talk to. Then say hello. It's that easy. Try it now. Find out how. Call toll-free. Adults over 18 only. For high-flying adventure, tune into Black Sheep Squadron here on 56 KDOC. And now, it's time for Hot Seat Highlights with Wally George. Stand by for hard-hitting comments by Wally on the issues of the day. Then, you'll see highlights from the past 12 years of Hot Seat. And now, here he is, the original voice of controversy and conservatism. The most talked about and imitated talk show host on television. The one and only, Wally George. Okay, thank you so much for that splendid introduction and welcome everybody. You know, I hope I, I don't seem uh, a little bit under the weather to you. I have been fighting off a miserable cold. I've, 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 everybody uh, has, has had a cold recently. I think it's the rainy weather and everything. But uh, I'm just getting over it. These are the last remnants of, of my cold. And uh, boy, it's awful to sneeze and cough during the night. I hate it. Oh, oh, oh. When I got up this, this morning, I thought, you know, there's no way I'm going to be able to go down there and do that show, this show. And here I am, in all my glory, the show must go on. Which, of course, brings on that eternal question, why? <laughs> no, no, the show must go on. I can remember coming down here to the studio, Jeff, when I had a fever of 103, and I did my show. And I felt better afterwards. Jeff, you remember I came, I was in a very serious automobile accident several years ago. Hit by a drunk driver going about 80 miles an hour on the marina off-ramp, and I had a concussion, broken nose, I was in real bad shape. My doctor uh, prescribed, stay home, rest for a week. The accident happened on Monday. Tuesday, I was in the studio with black eyes, a swollen nose. I did the show. My doctor came down with me, and during the breaks, he kept taking my blood pressure. I was fine. I don't know what it is. There's something therapeutic with me about being on the air. I can be depressed, I can be angry, I can be sick, but I come down here and I put on my little microphone and the lights go on and I look into the, into the lenses and all of a sudden it's like somebody just gave me a shot in the arm and it, it's therapeutic for me. I get better. By the end of this show, I'll be 100%. I don't know what that is. But I just enjoy doing these shows and talking to all of you millions of Wallyites out there. Remember, we're on every night at this time, Monday through Friday, uh, and Saturday nights from 11 until 12, all across America on the Wally Network, 165 cities nationwide, internationally via satellite. Jeff, I just got a, I, I forgot to mention this yesterday, I just got a phone call from Warner Brothers, and they may be using a clip from our hot seat show in Al Pacino's new movie at Warner Brothers. How about that, huh? That's pretty, I mean, that's uh, pretty good stuff. 
I mean, we're not talking about Weird Al Yankovic's new movie. We're talking about Al Pacino's new movie. So we're negotiating right now for, uh, for them to use a clip from my show in the new Al Pacino movie for Warner Brothers. I'm, uh, I'm trying to talk them into giving me a co-starring role as well. I'm willing to take second billing, Al Pacino and Wally George in whatever the movie is. I think I deserve, Warner Brothers, if you're watching, I think I deserve more than just running a clip from my show. I think I deserve a featured role, co-starring Wally. What do you think? Do you think so, Jeff? Absolutely. How long have I, have I gone long, long enough? Four minutes? What is today, Thursday? Shall I go a, a little more, or should I take a break? Take a break? All right, yeah, because we got uh, Bimbo Katrina coming up next, right? Katrina from uh, Captain Queens is going to come down here, and we're going to do the Wally mailbag. That should be exciting. Oh, by the way, before I do take a break, Clinton was here in Southern California, remember, just a, a week or so ago, and he was telling us all how he was going to have all this help for the Japanese, et cetera, et cetera. And I've never heard, heard Clinton ever say that he would like to do something to help the people right here in Orange County who are suffering because their leaders led them down the rosy red primrose path and the city is bankrupt. Why hasn't Clinton said, we're going to do what we can to help get Orange County back on its feet and the people? He's never even expressed regret for what has happened here to we people of Orange County. Huh. Take a little break. Come right back and you're going to meet Katrina the bimbo from Captain Creams. <laughs> See you there. It's our official fun headquarters in Huntington Beach. It's the side-by-side -side rink, offering huge roller and ice skating rinks side-by-side. -side. You're all the time of your life. All ages welcome for fun skating time. Mention Wally, you get a free autograph photo and a dollar off the admission. The side-by-side -side rink, ice skating and roller skating. Two rinks side-by-side. -side. That's right there in Huntington Beach. Tell them Wally sent you. You'll love it there. When there's something on your mind, and it's hot, stimulating conversation, call Lisa. She knows what you're looking for. Just dial 1-800-509-LISA. It's only $3.99 a minute. And get this, you don't need a credit card. Of course, for adults only. So call Lisa for live, one-on-one -on -one stimulating conversations at 1-800-509-LISA now. You don't need a credit card. My girlfriends and I decided to stay in and keep warm tonight. There's something about a hot, roaring fire that really excites me. The warm glow makes my skin tingle. Let's share our fantasies and tell each other our most intimate secrets. Dial 1-800-421-7877. 397 per minute, adults only. Call now before our fire burns out. Fantasies, live talk, personal dreams. Try them now. Find out how. Call toll free. Women's fantasies, wild desires. Dial 1 800 934 9100. Party live, one on one. Dial 1 800 934 9100. Get personal contacts with personal dreams. Dial 1 800 934 9100. Fantasies, live talk, personal dreams. Try them now. Find out how. Call toll free. Dial 1 800 934 9100. Adults over 18 years. Good morning. Uh, Wally is here live again, and here's a young bimbet that we, we haven't... No? Cremet. Cremet. We oh, agreed. Cremet. From I was promoted. From Captain Creams. I haven't seen you, Katrina, since uh, Christmas. I know. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to Bimbo Katrina. I'm sorry. Uh, um, Cremo... What is Cremet. it? Cremet. Cremet. I keep wanting to call you a bimbo. You should be nice to me. You know, I dressed conservatively for you today. You so did? Yes, look. Oh, I wore yes. a little jacket and everything, and... 
Since you're well covered, much to the dismay of my I male audience. I, yes, and I surprised the, the ladies in your office today. They went, what? Yes, Katrina did the conservative thing. Well, you know how I'm nuts about you, are we? Uh, oh, <laughs> I understand that you brought me a little surprise. Yes, I did. What did you bring me? I brought you a bandana. A for bandana? When, for when you're jogging at the beach with Russ. Rush. Uh, Rush. Rush. <laughs> Rush Limbaugh. Last time when we were talking, yes. you were going to go to the beach with Rush Limbaugh. That's right. And, and uh, this is really neat. But and I you, put this around you my head. You put it on like your that. head or you can open it up and there's a map how to get to Captain Creams and a go. picture of a girl. Next time I go jogging with Rush, <laughs> I'm going to wear this on my little head. It's, yes. It's, it's, it's a tea band when I work up a sweat. Mm -hmm. I haven't worked up a sweat in about 10 years. <laughs> Which I'm you not going to... Let's not go into that. Oh, oh! I found a button. <laughs> Ooh, I found a button on Wally. While we're here, <laughs> I'm having my... You are bad today. I'm having you my are bad. late night snack. <laughs> I, did, did you want me to take a bite of that? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm eating Wally's banana. Uh, Hershey, what do you think, why is it When she takes a bite of that, it's, mm. all, it's almost obscene. I can feel the potassium you know, just getting in. Watch my... me take a bite of this. <laughs> now watch. <laughs> Katrina, Katrina has This is our first this. lunch date. Go ahead. <laughs> You're killing me, Wally. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, she just made I don't believe you did this to me. Never made the I should, though. No, you did very well. Mm, thank you. It was good. I'm glad it was a not black. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good banana, isn't it? Yeah, I'm glad you didn't give me one with all the brown spots. You, you, you'll always remember this, uh, that, that this was the time you and I shared a banana. Exactly. Bananas will never be the same. No. Every time I eat a banana, I'll be thinking People of you. People at home are saying, Wally has gone over the hill, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's fun. It's fun. At least you Happy enjoy New Year. Yourself. Happy New Year to you. Is the new place opening up soon? Mm, I'm not sure what's going on with that. You have to talk to, to the bosses. Steve, uh, 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 Captain Cream himself, yes. Mark Bailey. Mm -hmm. Say hello to Mark. Captain Cream hello, Mark. is located in Lake Forest, and, and their number is area code 714-951-5052. 951-5052. Captain Cream's showgirl cabaret. <laughs> What, what exactly, once again, in case people don't know, what do they do over there? We have a fabulous time entertaining all you sexy, wonderful men doing horny private table dances oh in my our bikinis. Gosh, I can't believe I'm hearing this. And we have a very lustful shower show Bring where your... our girls wear little wet t-shirts and they come down and dance for you for a dollar after they get out of the shower. Bring your own bananas. Yeah. <laughs> we could start a new trend. If you bring that's a right. banana, you get a discount on your that's table. That's right. That's right. No, no, no. No, no. And then we have our fantasy shows where the girls come out in these fabulous costumes. We have the Naughty Scotty. And the Naughty Scotty? Yes, and the Horny Devils oh and the Sexy gosh. Limousine Driver. And the costumes are fantastic. It doesn't sound like kind of, uh, of a, a family spot. It doesn't sound like something. Some well, it is until they get the out city. of their costumes. Yeah, no, this is you know twenty-one and up because yeah. we have alcohol. Mostly men, addiction. I would imagine. Yeah. Well, you know, we get some women too. They're curious. Maybe they want to come in and see women that would go you know, how to, to dance. Women who would go to Captain Creams, I would be highly suspicious of. Oh yes, you always <laughs> think of that, the elves and all that. That's right. No, it's women you can come on down to. It's we have luncheons. We open at eleven thirty till two in the morning. Did you have a nice Christmas, by the way? I had a great Christmas. Did you get the, some expensive gifts? I got some nice gifts. Hey, hello to your mother, Wally. Oh, yeah, I want to I say hello to your mother. What's your mother's name again? You're Maddie. Because we missed it last time. Yeah. Maddie, is it? Mm-hmm. Maddie! <laughs> I love you, baby. Love you, baby. Come on down and we'll share a banana. <laughs> Maddie. She's mm -hmm. great. Has she ever danced at Captain Creams? I uh, know she hasn't. Has she ever seen you dance? Yes, she has. What does she say? She thinks it's fabulous. Oh, she brother. Does. She, <laughs> she she does. She supports me 100 percent in it. There's nothing wrong with it. You making pretty good money? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Okay. Are you making so good this, money? So this is all you Are got. you making good money, Wally? So much money that Hoshi and I are negotiating with NBC. Oh, go on. To buy on. the network. Ted Turner turned it down, so Hoshi and I are going to pool <laughs> our our sources, and we're negotiating right now with GE. Right? Is that right, Hoshi? Yes. 
Have they accepted our, our, our last offer? Well, they have no choice. They will. What was it, about uh, about $4 billion? Yeah, close yeah. to that. But close to $4 billion, Hoshi and I have, have offered GE to take over NBC television. There's a little hair right here. That's the way it goes. <laughs> okay, now, as you know... <coughs> I've just been looking good for you girls, okay? I've been fighting a cold, Katrina. I'll have a little water. I had a little cold the other day, too. Maybe we shouldn't have been sharing that banana. Now you tell me. Now I give you Are my Are you cold. contagious? No, I'm, I'm over it now. Oh, I'm okay, over. good. Now he tells me. <laughs> Thanks, Wally. Now it is time for the Wally yeah. mailbag. Oh, I just want to let oh. you know while oh, you're I... coughing on me. There's another use for this. It's a band, uh, um, a thing. Maybe you should put that over your mouth. So over my don't mouth? cough germs on me. <laughs> so a lot of people want to put this over my mouth <laughs> forever. All right, it's time for the Wally mailbag. Let's go to letter number one, and here's Katrina. Okay, Judy Simpson in Phoenix. Wally, you are a big mouth, belligerent, sexist, right-wing, conservative pig. What? P.S. I love your show. <laughs> Is that a hypocritical letter? Judy, that's, that's wonderful. I am a, I'm a big mouth, belligerent, sexist, right-wing, conservative pig, and she loves my show. She must be some kind of a masochist or sadist or whatever. All right, Judy, and you are probably a big mouth bimbo yourself. Woo! Maybe you should tell her to send you a picture. Yeah, send me a picture of your ugly face. Yeah. Okay, next. Ah, Lee. Larry Nichols, Costa Mesa. Hello, Larry. Dearest Wally. Dearest uh, Wally? From <laughs> The guy's name is Larry? Larry Nichols. Dearest Wally? Uh -oh. Dearest Wally. Oh, all right, go ahead. <laughs> You always assume... Uh, you yeah, know, but men don't say dearest. He's being polite. It's a form well, letter of some sort. Go ahead. Dearest Wally, I have friends in the White House, and I hear that Bill Clinton would love to come on your show. He thinks you are a great American. Larry. Raw, raw, sister <laughs> Larry, what have you been puffing on? He thinks I'm a great American. I'll tell you what Bill Clinton thinks about me. Same thing he thinks about Rush. Bill would never come on this program. Never. But I would love to have him on, along with Hillary. Hillary and Billary on the hot seat. Can you imagine that? Oh, boy, I love it. Go ahead. I think you just want to have Hillary on here. But Bill doesn't like me too much. I can't no. understand it. All I've ever called him is a big mouth, jerk, womanizer, dope, uh, fiend, and uh, a... Uh, a loser. Boy, he's on another roll today. Go ahead. I might just get you whipped up. Um, what? Whipped I'm up. I'm not into not S, S, S and M here. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Tommy Morris, Hollywood. Right. Hi. Hi, Wally. Why don't you ever have Howard Stern on your show? Are you scared of him? Well, I'm glad you asked me that, Tommy. He's wild. Tommy. He's a wild man. Do you know that I've been on Howard Stern's show? Really? On his radio show, uh, well, over the phone, about four times, four or five times. And you know, every time they called me to be on his show, I would say, okay, I'll come on, because I know what he does to me. He just rips me to shreds. Yeah, you like that, though. No, I don't like that. Yeah, you do. You I like to have someone who can have a battle of wits with you. Yeah, but, but he gets really, he hits below the belt, which I don't yeah. do, except with you, of course. Uh, <laughs> Lie, face. Lie, too. <laughs> now... Every time Howard's, uh, Howard's producer has called me, uh, I, I think they call him Baba Booey, yes. uh, he calls me and I say, okay, if I come on Howard's show, will he come on my show? And they say, absolutely. And I've been on four times and Howard is yet to be on my show. So obviously it is Howard who is scared of me, Tommy. So write to him or call him and tell him why he has chickened out being on my show. Okay, go ahead. Would you really have him here? Sure. Oh my gosh. I could tear well, We have to shred. bring some of our Captain Gr uh, Cream girls down here because he okay. just loves girls. He's scared of me, though. He's scared. Oh. You, you should follow up on he that. He knows I could rip him. Rip him badly. Mm. Okay. Next. Wow. Laura Scott Van Nuys. Wally, now that the Republicans are in control of the government, what's the use of you staying on the air? Why don't you quit? Well, I'll tell you why, Laura. Because... I want to be sure that we Republicans remain in control of the government. And so that's why Wally is going to be here day after day, year after year, decade after decade, making sure that the Republicans run the United States of America. So there, and you're out of here. 
It's been wonderful talking to you. It's been fabulous talking to you and next sharing time, a banana with you. Next time we'll share a tangerine. Oh, I can hardly well, wait. That's I want to know when you're going to come down and do Wally Night, though. As soon as I'm feeling better. Okay. Okay. We've got to definitely we'll do, do that. We're going to do a Wally Night at Captain Cream's. Definitely. And you're going to probably pull me into the pit. <laughs> we don't have the pit anymore. Oh, there's no more. But pit. I'll make sure there's plenty of bananas. Thank you so much. This is Katrina, everybody, who comes down regularly and does the Wally mailbag with me from Captain Cream's. Hello there to the Captain, Mark Bailey, and all the crew at uh, Captain Cream's in Lake Forest. Their phone number is area code 714-951-5052, right? Where the 5 and the 405 meet. Lake Forest exit. See you there. And when you see Katrina, you will really see Bring Katrina. me a banana. She <laughs> Maybe she'll share This is going to be a new thing for me now. Right. I'm going to bring me a banana. And, and, and just come in and, and say that you saw me eating a banana on the Wally show. Are, are you two talking now? Yes. Well, thank you. We're, we're, we'll be right back. Goodbye, sweetheart. Bye. See you next time, and I'll be right back. We all face uncertainties in our life, not knowing what tomorrow may bring, but it doesn't have to be that way. The Psychic Center is the friend of thousands of people just like you. If you're facing difficult times in your life, over a hundred accredited, spiritually gifted psychics are waiting to help you decide what direction to follow. The Psychic Center is truly a premier psychic service and is trusted by the Hollywood stars. Now you have a choice. One phone call can make a difference in the rest of your life. Call 1-800-642-TELL. My girlfriends and I decided to stay in and keep warm tonight. There's something about a hot, roaring fire that really excites me. The warm glow makes my skin tingle. Let's share our fantasies and tell each other our most intimate secrets. Dial 1-800-421-7877. 397 per minute, adults only. Call now before our fire burns out. Want a sure thing? Every man loves a sure thing. If you'd like a sure thing, then all you have to do is pick up the phone. Call 1-800-213-CUTE. It's only $2.50 per minute, and it's a sure thing. Oh, it's for adults only. Call 1-800-213-CUTE. Want a sure thing? Call now. When you need it, you need it live. 1-800-388-LIVE. For an intimate encounter with someone special, call 1-800-388-LIVE and make the live connection. 1-800-388-LIVE. When you need it live, call 1-800-388-LIVE. Adults over 18 only. We have with us, with us tonight, we haven't seen this uh, liberal lunatic for quite a while. <laughs> he, he's back with us after about a year's absence. His name is Alan Dollison. He's a, a, a liberal activist, and he says he wants us to cut back on our military budget and spend more on welfare. Come on. <laughs> now, Alan, now, wait, now, wait, now, wait a minute. You have to define welfare. You have to define welfare in two terms. Are you for military welfare, like when we pay money to General Dynamics to take care of the uh, president's dog? Oh come on, that's well, a that's a fact. General Dynamics build the Pentagon over. Don't two point your stupid two, finger at me. Yeah. It built. It built. General, only, it built. It I'm built. the only one who points on this show, right? It built General Dynamics over $2,000 to take care of the president of uh, uh, General Dynamics' dog don't, in a dog kennel. I don't want to hear all this now, how stupid much protection stuff. Does it, how much protection does it? What I'm does saying that is you liberals want to cut back on national defense like you want to cut back on, on SDI, on the stealth bomber, and you want more social programs, more welfare. I say we got to have less welfare because a lot of your liberal friends who are on welfare are only on welfare not because they're needy, it's because they're too damn lazy to no. get a job. Wally, we have, Wally, we have, Wally, we have to face the fact that our American economy has grown and has changed in such a fashion that the regular old high school diploma no longer guarantees somebody a good job. We all have to face the fact job. that you're a nitwit. And when you, and when you, and when you, 
the majority the majority the majority the majority of the people that the majority of the people that are on welfare today the majority of the people that are on welfare today would like to work but they don't have the proper training and therefore the Reagan administration's answer to them was to cut back on job training programs so these people can't get jobs Ronald Reagan if we spend more money on job training programs these people will be able to work and will be able to contribute don't to you the understand economy. Alan you, you, a, you hold on it's a no Alan, in the state of, Alan, in the wait, state of Massachusetts Alan, they sponsored I, a program hey, hey, called you're arguing a monologue here and it's a two-way dialogue here now, it, uh, now I'm going to answer you don't you understand that there's a great majority of people who are collecting welfare who don't want job training Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks, and I've got some great news. Looking for love in the 90s has just gotten easier. No matter what your age, no matter what type of person you're looking for, the Matchmaker Network can help you. In fact, it has already helped thousands of people find friendship, romance, and even the newlyweds of their dreams. Let the Matchmaker Network help you meet your match. Call today. Hey, thinking about buying a bicycle? Come into Bicycle Discovery, Fountain Valley and Los Alamitos, featuring Univega, Trek, BMX, the biggest selection of bicycles anywhere in the world, I think. It is the most amazing store, and you get fantastic savings. When you mention Wally George, you get an extra bonus discount. So come on in, tell them Wally George sent you. This is the store for your next bicycle. It is terrific. Hey, that's it. A perfect gift for a man who's got everything. An ammo dump. Certainly will be a surprise. <laughs> How can you watch the Christmas like a hawk when it's as blind as a man? I thought you said the time. <laughs> If there's racing at the track, there's racing on KDOC. Every night, Wednesday through Sunday at 8 p.m., catch all the day's racing action from Santa Anita with all the stats and results from each race. Not just the stretch drives, not just the highlights, all the races, all of the race from the gate to the finish line. So tune in each night, Wednesday through Sunday at 8 p.m. to 56 KDOC, your station for horse racing. On the outside, my private prayers, please pause, Paul and Marla are going to hit the wire together. Well, I really hate to bring, these, bring this sad news to you folks, but we reached the end of this marvelous program. Don't cry, don't weep, I'll be back. Remember, we're on every night at this time, and Saturday nights, 11 until 12, with the original Hot Seat Show with my live studio audience as we take on the liberal loonies and tell it the way it really is. So uh, be with us six nights a week here in Southern California, all across America on the Wally Network internationally via satellite, yes indeed. Now, if you'd like to write to Wally, here's my world-famous address on the screen. Just write to Wally George, P.O. Box 787, Hollywood, California, 90078. Now, for those of you who have been trying to meet me, or, or perhaps beat me up, <laughs> and have been waiting for me at my post office box to come and pick up my mail, let me tell you that I don't go down to get my mail. I send along a Wally look-alike. <laughs> no, really, I had that that happen. They told me at the post office, when does Wa somebody asked, when does Wally pick up his mail? <laughs> all right, uh, that's going to do it. Tell all your friends to, to be with us as we save America as Wally carries on the Reagan revolution. I am the original voice of patriotism and conservatism, standing up for God and country, morality and decency and dignity. You better believe it. We've got to get out of here now. God bless you all, and God bless America.
there's a party going on right on your telephone. It's America's ultimate party line, and it's what everyone's talking about. Try it now. Find out how. Call toll-free. Imagine right now you can talk live with up to eight friendly people who want to meet you. It's fun, it's exciting, and you can try it now. Find out how. Call toll-free. Don't be shy. You can listen in until you hear someone you want to talk to. Then say hello. It's that easy. Try it now. Find out how. Call toll-free. Adults over 18 only. Hi there, I'm Bob Eubanks, and I've got some great news. Looking for love in the 90s has just gotten easier. No matter what your age, no matter what type of person you're looking for, the Matchmaker Network can help you. In fact, it has already helped thousands of people find friendship, romance, and even the newlyweds of their dreams. Let the Matchmaker Network help you meet you. This is Gene Woods speaking for Family... crowd. We got, we got all three balconies filled tonight. How about that? Great audience. Welcome. Welcome to everybody at home all across America. This is the program that makes America a little bit greater. you know every member of this vast studio audience are great Americans, right? USA! 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 That's great. Oh, yeah. Okay, now hold on. Hey, we, we got some ludicrous lunatics on the show tonight. We have political, we have political analyst Bruce Gewurzman, who, who is trying to defend the slanted liberal left-wing news media. And to tell you how ludicrous he is, he thinks California's Supreme Court Justice Rose Byrd is great. who calls himself Video Dave. Oh. Video Dave. He says he's going to prove to me that there are UFOs from outer space. And then, and then we have a maniac who spends all of his spare time running around spraying graffiti on walls all over Southern California. And, and he says he should have the right to spray graffiti wherever he wants to because he should have the right to express himself. Oh, see him expressing himself behind bars. What do you think? <laughs> boring, 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 boring. Okay, now it's time for our, our first guest, and he's back again for a repeat performance. He's been on several times during the last three years. David, introduce him, if you will. He's on for the fifth time. Okay. All right, uh, first up tonight, defending the liberal press and Rose Bird. Oh. <laughs> Political analyst Bruce Gewurz. Bruce, I'm sorry, the name is Gewurzman. Right. Okay. Good. All right. All right. Bruce Gewurzman is back, and, and Bruce, you are here tonight. You know, you you have supported some some really losing causes every time you've been on this. <laughs> You're really 
is supporting two losing causes. He's, you're trying to defend the slanted liberal news media and Rose Byrd. Now, first of all, now, first of all, now, hold on now, hold on. Now, first of all, I don't know how in the world that you can look me straight in the face and not break into hysteria when you say that the news media, the majority of the news media is not liberally oriented and slants and twists the news every single day. Don't you agree? Go ahead. Well, let's first define what we mean by liberally oriented, okay? Because what I, what I perceive you to think to be liberally oriented, Wally, is something that, first of all, doesn't agree with your points of views, and secondly, something that may question sometimes what the President of the United States says. No, to me, that's not liberally let, oriented. Let me uh, draw a picture of who no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about 99.5% of the news media are liberal lunatics who slant the news and slander the President and the United States. Yeah. <laughs> It may or it may not be true that 99% of the press is left of you, Wally. And as far as slanting the President of the United States is concerned or slandering him, I believe that this press, that this media has been in fact more favorable to the President of the United States than they probably should be. They realize that we have, for better or worse, a very popular president right now, and they bend over backwards to give him a fair shot. Oh, Wally. sure they do. Sure they do. That's why papers like the L hold on. They're so fair to our president. Hey, they came out the other day in the L.A. Times, and they compared Ronald Reagan to Muammar Gaddafi. What do you think about that? They're so fair. Hey, they are so fair that, that, that they're having articles from people all across this nation, and I've read it from New York to Chicago, all over, who people, because of the bombing of Libya, these liberal lunatics said that Ronald Reagan was a bigger terrorist than Gaddafi. What do you think about that? Go ahead. Folks, folks, think for a minute. Just, just think for a minute. You know there are liberal lunatics in the media, in the, in the press, in magazines. There are right-wing lunatics in the media, in the press. Oh, wait. And there are also many in between. To take isolated, to take isolated, thank you. Coming from you, that's a compliment. To take isolated examples, to take isolated examples, Wally, and say that this is a liberal lunatic is very unfair to all those people in the press who are, in fact, very fair to the president wait a minute. and the government. And to the wait, people. I'm not taking isolated cases. You I are. can show you a whole scrapbook from newspapers from coast to coast who have called our president and you say how fair they are to him who have called him senile who have called him inept who, who have called him unable to conduct uh, foreign policy who have called him every name in the book and you say they're fair to him they've done everything they could to destroy him but they realize that the American people have not bought their slander and their smears and so they have to say a a few kind things every now and then because they know that the people of the United States will not listen to their smears and they still say that Ronald Reagan is one of the greatest presidents in the history of the United States. <laughs> For me, for me to sit here, Wally, for me to sit here and to use one of your terms, it would be ludicrous for me to sit here and defend the entirety of the press because there are isolated examples of no, people I, in the, the press. The majority right. of the press does well, this, Wally, Bruce. You know, that comes from your perception, and unfortunately... Do you agree not with me or not? Knows. Well, you know, you're an intelligent man and you're very articulate. You don't need the nerds out here to start screaming. Don't time. call my audience nerds! Let me tell you, Bruce. Oh, hold on, Bruce. You talk, hold. 
Let me tell you, Bruce, it's not my isolated opinion or my audience. I get letters from all over this nation, from older people, mature parents, who write to me, and when I attack the liberal press, I get letters from Iowa, from Georgia, from Texas, from, from Illinois, writing to me and saying, Wally, you're right on. Our newspaper picks on the conservatives, picks on the Republicans, picks on America, picks on the president, and we're sick and tired of it. You're right on target. So America knows, not just me, my viewers know that I am right. You know, it isn't only that they pick on the president, but what I hate to see in newspaper story after newspaper story, and even stories on television and radio, are commentators and news journalists who write stories and report stories saying how wrong we are and how great Russia is. Do you like that? USA! Members of the news media, Bruce, have tried to say that we are the ones who are stirring up trouble and Russia really wants peace. Do you believe that? Right, well, how do you answer that? I, I am not going to deny that there are people in the news media who take illogical and irrational approaches, just as there are talk show hosts who do the same. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is, well, I, didn't, I didn't get specific, all I'm saying is, is that as a, a I'm, a, I'm a teacher, Wally, and I run into other teachers and students all the time, and I know the letters you get, but I run into other teachers and students all the time who are constantly complaining to me about how, in fact, right-wing and conservative the press is. Oh, it's a matter God. of your perception. What newspaper you get? If you get, if you get the local newspaper in this part of California, and you think that's a liberal newspaper, you got to have your head examined, folks. I'm talking about... You say isolated cases. I'm talking about 99%. Where do you get that 99% figure? From all, the, from all the media that I read. That's your extrapolation. From all the That's your extrapolation, Wally. It's my extrapolation. That's exactly the, my point. And it's the extrapolation of, of exactly what my viewers across the country think and what they think, right? Ruth. Bruce you're, Bruce, you're claiming something that even the media people don't claim. Is, you're claiming that they're not liberal. They admit that they're liberal. They just say they have liberal? a. They just say David, they have a right to be liberal. David, you're claiming they're not. They, they have David. admitted, Bruce. Many, many journalists. On, I saw it on Most Good Morning them. America. I saw it on 2020 that they admitted that the great majority of reporters and news writers and journalists voted for the liberal Democratic Party every single time. That doesn't make any difference. Why, whom they voted for, what makes a difference. And they slant the their stories to, to improve their if, point, right? If, if you, let's take a hypothetical situation and say that you, Wally George, could have control of the press and make them lean to the tendencies that you would like them to lean toward. Then, in fact, all you'd be doing is, is you'd be taking the press, having them slant the other way, if in fact they're liberal in the first place, and they'd just be no, biased toward your no, point I of view. No, I wouldn't. And that would be just as irrational, just as sickening, no, in fact, is. more even, it's I more dangerous. I only want them to be fair. I want at no, least... No, you don't, Wally. I, don't tell me what I want. <laughs> be happy with 25% of the media being being thinking the way I do and the way Ronald Reagan does. I'd be happy with 25%. We're lucky to get 1% who agree with our great president, Ronald Reagan. They try to call him a nincompoop. They try to call him senile, stupid, a stupid old man. Don't tell me. And you sat there and told me a few minutes ago that how kind and fair they call him. They call him a Teflon president. He is not a Teflon president. He's a brilliant leader. And he showed Gorbachev at that last summit meeting. He, he thought he was going to come in to that summit meeting and kick uh, Ronald Reagan around because he was a has-been actor and he went home with more respect for our president and I doubt he will come to another summit because he knows Ronald Reagan is a tough cookie and he's got his number, right? <laughs> ADOC-TV. Now we're going to get back to our, our guest, Bruce Gewurzman, political analyst. Now, you know, Bruce, we talk about these ludicrous liberal reporters. Not only 
do they slant and twist the news, but they print out and out lies. Do you know that? Sometimes they do, Wally. Now, and they're also subject to libel and slander suits if they do. Yeah, and they do it a lot. For example, Janet Cook, who won a Pulitzer Prize for her heart-rendering story about a poor family and blamed Reagan about it all. She wrote a big story and won a Pulitzer Prize for it, and later they found out the whole story was fictitious. What do you think about that? I think that's wrong, and also... So do I. I. I'll tell you what else. I think it's wrong that reporters are not required to reveal their sources. What do you think about that? Right. William Farr, well, about 10 years ago, a reporter for the Los Angeles Times, spent months in jail while he, because he refused to reveal his sources. Right. All right. That sometimes happens. I don't think you can make a universal statement that all times reporters must be required to reveal sources. If that happened, then reporters would not be able to get stories, would not be able to get information that they sometimes are able to get because witnesses feel like they are being protected by not having their names revealed. Yeah, but wait a minute. How do we know if they can't reveal, or they don't have to reveal their sources, that they're not making the whole thing up? They can say, oh yeah, well my source says this. How do we know they have a source, when right? That, <laughs> when, when and if that is suspected, as in the Farr case, the judge will tend to rule in favor of the plaintiff in that case who is requiring those sources to be revealed. I'm saying there are instances when the source must be protected. If not, we're not going to get information that we need to have in order to prosecute people. I say You're in favor of that, aren't I you? I say that the news media uses this so-called sources to print lies and things they know are not and true. When they do, and they, they may are, not have a source at all, Bruce. And when they do and it is found out, they are thrown in jail. Yeah, it's but, slander and it's lies. Yeah, we but have how laws to protect that. But how many times have we found out, we, we found out one or two reporters who have printed lies uh, as fact, but I wonder how many news stories we don't know about, they, they have printed as facts and they're lies. What do you think about when that? You, when, you have, when you have a free press, when you worship the idea of having a free press, there are some risks that you have to take, and I think that's one of them that's well worth taking in order to preserve that freedom of the press. Well, uh, uh, the other thing that is totally out of line is when the news media prints classified documentaries, when they print documents that have been classified as highly secretive, highly classified, dangerous information to be released, and they print those stories anyway when it can hurt this country, I say that is truly a terrible crime to hurt this country, and newspapers who, pr who print classified information that could endanger this country, I say throw them in jail. What do you think? Again, I will only say you can't make a blanket universal statement. It all comes down to who actually decides that an, a document is classified, that it is a national security risk, and that it would do some harm. Wait a minute. Some of the people who have printed these stories, it's stamped right on the, right on the report. Classified sensitive and that could information. That should be done for very frivolous reasons that have nothing to do with any national security, only because certain people want their certain documents protected. So the reporters, that, so the reporters should oh. be the should be the one to judge if it's classified or not, right? I say the government decides, and the reporter does not print anything that is classified information. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now look. We only have a few minutes more. We only, have, we only have a couple of minutes more. I, I want to ask you this. You also are supporting Rose Bird, and you say that I have been unkind to her, and that she really is a good, a good chief justice. I want to tell you, 80% of the people of California, in a recent poll, said that they favor the death penalty. She does not want the death penalty, and so she and her liberal cohorts on the California Supreme Court don't give the people of California what they voted for. She she gives them what she wants, and I say, let's bounce her out of here. This is very important, folks, because the issue is much more complex than that. No, it's the not. The issue is not Rose Bird. The issue is not the death penalty. In fact, Wally, I agree with you on the death penalty. I think we ought to fry the scum. The issue is whether or not in this country we want to have three branches of government and checks and balances in the Constitution. Do we want to have a judiciary that is responsible to the people or a judiciary that makes decisions based upon their own consciences, is what, was, which was exactly what they are put in power to do. They are not, not to reflect the people. That's what the legislature is supposed to do. That's what 
what the executive branch of government is supposed to do. The judges are supposed to interpret the law based on their own consciences. Bruce, you can't tell me that that's, wh that's why she makes her decisions. In the entire time that she has served on the court as Supreme Court Justice, not one, not one convicted murderer has gone to the gas chamber. She's not saying this is for justice. She's saying it that she does not want the death penalty. And as long as she is Chief Justice, as long as her cohorts are in there, nobody will ever go to the gas chamber. Not because it's justice, because it's the way Rose Bird wants it. Am I right? <laughs> That is not the issue. Rose Bird and the death penalty is not the issue. The issue is the fact that Rose Bird makes decisions based on her conscience, which are very unpopular decisions. The day, Wally, that we let the constituency of the state of California or any other state in this union decide what judges are going to do, the day that judges actually go out and poll people and make decisions based on polls, that's the day when you can write an epitaph for the third branch of government in this country. Do you mean to tell me that Rose Bird, every time she has turned down the death penalty, She's been, she has been voting her conscience? She has, she has, in every instance, Wally, taken a look at the constitutional law, the technical points raised in the case, and based her decisions on those principles, which you and I wrong. may not agree with, but the point is, That's wrong. she is empowered to do that. If she you has take that never, power away from her, you take away the power of the judiciary. She has never sent one convicted murderer irrelevant. to the gas chamber irrelevant. is not irrelevant. I say this. I want, I want a California Chief Justice. I want a Supreme Court who is going to bring justice to California. And the only way we'll bring justice to California is to reinstate the death penalty. And the only way we're going to do that is to get rid of Rose Bird and her cohort. <laughs> Okay, next up, Wally, we have a man who says that UFOs are for real. He's probably seen one, and his name is Video Dave. Oh, oh, oh. 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 See, oh. see, they can tell. What are you listening to, for heaven's sake? Well, while you were talking to your audience, Wally, I was watching TV. I mean, they call me Video Dave. This is the world's smallest television. Hey. Thanks to the Casio company, by the way. Hey, will you for... knock out the plugs, or you're going to be out of here in about five seconds? Now you're here, you're, you're here to try to prove to me that there are UFOs from outer space, and after looking at him, I think he is from outer space. Yeah. Well, 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 Wally, if you let me talk here, at least I'm not afraid to admit that I'm bald. How about you? Wally, I'm proud of this chrome hey, dog. Pal, listen, wait, Freako, wait, 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 my Freako. turn. No, 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 don't tell me whose turn it is. It's my show, Freako. First of all, first of all once and for all, you know, I've had it happen too many times. I, ha I want to tell you once and for all, and then you can examine my hair later. This is my hair, and it has been all my oh, life. Oh, I never said that. I never said it wasn't, Wally. You said I was wearing a hair piece. No, pal. I didn't. Run back the tape. I never said that. Did he say that? We're not talking about hair. We're, we're talking about I'm talking about you who, who are saying that you have proof that there are UFOs who come from outer space, which come from outer space, and you know because you ha had a sighting yourself, right? That's correct, Wally. How many sightings have you had? Uh, two. When was, the, when was the last one that you had? The last one in 1964. Where did you see this flying saucer? I beg your pardon? Where did you see it? In Fort Riley, Kansas. And, and did you, hold it, and did you board this flying saucer? Did the videotape that I sent you a week in advance, Wally, state that I boarded the flying saucer? Don't try to outsmart me. I sent you a videotape a week in advance. Hey. Wait, don't give me any hay. Wait, you hold on. Any moron can outsmart him, right? Right. Hold on. Speaking of videotape, I want to show you the asinine videotape he sent me to try to prove his point. Go ahead, Brian, and roll it. Here's his proof that there are UFOs. No, it doesn't say there's proof. Go ahead. Roll the, roll the videotape, and let's look at it. Have we got all cute? July 23rd. What is this object? Notice the white object going by the screen. Original speed we're showing this at right now. 
Can I talk while they're just going off? Quarter of speed. What is the object, Wally? Quick, Wally! Wally George, what's the object? What do you mean it's someone throwing a pie pan? Come on, Wally. One more time. What is the object, Wally? I wonder how Wally likes to eat his videotape, with salt and pepper or with a little ketchup? Yes? Wait. Well, there it is, folks. What do you think about that? So there's your big documented proof that there are UFOs from outer space. What other proof do you have for us? What, 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 what does UFO stand for, Wally? UFO stands for uh, UFO stands for unidentified flying object. Right. And, and where do you say that these UFOs come from that, that you cited back in Oklahoma? In Kansas. Yeah. Kansas. Kansas. Where do you think these UFOs come from? Outer space? Nobody knows, but there's three theories, Wally. Three possible theories. Nobody knows the answer, but they've been cited since 1947. Let me ask your audience a question, okay? No, How, ask No, no, question. no. I want to ask your audience a question. How many believe in UFOs that they are real? <laughs> Talking to me, pal. This is my show. But I have my own show, Wally. I can handle an audience as good oh. as you. Yeah. He has his own show. Boy, I can hardly wait to watch that. What do you think? Huh? All, right. all right, all right. Look, tell me about where you saw this sighting and what happened when you saw this this UFO. In 1964, I was a soldier stationed in Fort Wiley, Kansas. I was on guard duty the night of December December 10th, 1964. Okay. With three other soldiers, we were told to go to an object that landed in a field. Myself and three other soldiers went around this object. Uh, I had sent Wally a videotape. There's probably not time to run this tape. I'm not saying that this object was a flying saucer, but it's... It's shape, it had a fin, it had a rim, it was 60 to 80 feet. And you, how can you laugh? You weren't there. What? My, qu my, my, question, my, question, my, my question, my question to the government, my question to the government is, what was the object? If Wally, my hey, my wait, question wait, 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 is, wait, 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 my question is, what did I ever have you on this program for? You're out of here. Sullivan's smash hits of the 60s, featuring 14 of your favorite rock performances. Use your credit card and we'll throw in Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But wait, there's more. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll cut the price in half. You'll get two once-in-a-lifetime videos for only $9.99. Ed Sullivan's Rock and Roll Classics is not available in stores, so call now. Call 1-800-548-7100 to order Ed Sullivan's Rock and Roll Classics for only $9.99. Use your credit card and get a second video free. Or send $9.99 plus $3.99 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Call now. Nothing to watch in the tube tonight? How about a little live entertainment to keep you up all night? Live chat, the way you like it, is yours anytime, 24-7. Just pick up the phone, call 1-800-YES-GIRL, and let us do the rest. Adults only, please. 
Call 1-800-YES-GIRL right now. Your secret fantasy is just a phone call away. Call me now. Okay, and now, Bill Bancroft, it's time for our uh, first guest, and she's back again. She's been with us for about six years now, and I get madder as heck at her. Don't you? Yeah! Okay. Okay, go ahead, Bill. Right, right next to me is, Shh, hold it. is a charming lady. Oh, come on! Except for the fact that she's a liberal, feminist, loudmouth... Yes! Yeah. ...who wants to ban... She wants to ban AK-47s and similar weapons like this, and Walker. Okay. Well, Ann. Here she is. Here she is back again, the mouth that roared. Are you ready? Here she is. All right, Wally. Okay. I take that as a compliment coming from now, you. Now, we're going we're gonna to be talking, Ann, about these AK-47s, the uh, assault rifles and weapons. And I weapons. say I certainly agree with the President of the United States <clears throat> that, hey, it is wrong to ban these weapons. If criminals have the right to have these weapons, then I say law-abiding citizens should also have that right. What do you think? Did you hear criminals have the right to have the weapons? Wally, give me a well, break. I, hey, hey, well, they I, own them illegally. What I'm telling you, Ann, is, of course, they have the right because no matter what the laws are, they will have those weapons. They don't care. you're right. However, if they were banned from coming in the country in the first place, a lot of people wouldn't have them. And listen, what well, the drugs heck are do you need an AK-47? The average citizen need an AK-44. I'll tell you why. They say, they say, hold it. You're a liberal. They say AK-40. Hold it, guys. Very funny. You're talking about advocating murder should be fine because you decide you don't like something. You should go out and murder. That's pretty stupid. Think about it. What you're talking about is anarchy. What you I. Have to go Hey, talk to me, Ann. Talk to me. Talk to me. Where's our country? What we're saying on? here, no matter what the law is, these hold the gang. No matter what the law is, these criminals, these murderers, are going to have these weapons. Okay. And the reason, wait, the reason they want to have the, the, the weapons, law-abiding citizens don't buy Uzis of or AK-40. Wait a minute, I, I haven't finished my sentence yet. They, they don't buy them to kill people. They buy them, number one, to defend themselves, don't they? <laughs> country ought to be armed and we should all walk around with our own personal weapons just in case somebody happens to absolutely right? absolutely we should live in and, our absolutely hey, and with the especially we're talking anarchy again. no we're I thought not you we're, were, we're, i thought hey, you were do you uh, realize, conservative ho, you believe and, in democracy i thought that and, i was wrong ho, ho, hold on and i'm telling you this hold on hold it hold the game I'm telling you this, once we declare these weapons illegal and the criminals all over begin to realize that they have been declared illegal and the law-abiding citizens have turned in their weapons, well, then, hold on, then weapons. the criminals say, hey, we're the only ones with the Uzis, we're the only ones with the AK-47s, and they're going to know that they can break into anybody's house and they, people cannot protect themselves. Shot weapons that everybody is still allowed to have. And there is no need for any civilian to have a semi-automatic or an automatic weapon. I, and I want to quote you. I know you're going to bring up the Constitution. I'm going to tell you. I said already. You said already. Me, but you quote. You know what it says? The militia. No, militia. Listen. No, it does. It does. The militia has the right to bear arms. It does arms. not. It says Are the people have the right to keep no, and no, bear arms. No, doesn't the it? Militia. Militia. <laughs> Militia. Militia. The word militia. Okay. What, are you what is? The United States of America. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that the type of society Hold on. you want to live Wait a minute, live in? Ann. That, de that was debated on national television. Well, You're we're talking debating about, it right hold now on. on uh, no, I'm talking about a militia. 
You 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 say militia. Okay. That's right. That's what they debated that on national. Hold the gang. They debated that on national television, and they said, "What is a militia? A militia is defined as a group of people. What is a family? A group of people." That's right. And that's the way you want to live. You know, and I, mean, I want to bring up something else also. Let me tell you why I feel that way. We are living, especially here in Southern California, we are living here in a land where animals, gangs are roaming the streets, killing... And they have the I, I fin- 47 Let me finish. The I'm finishing things. it. Let me finish. We are living in a place where animals are roaming the streets. These gang idiots are killing people right and left uh, at will. Do you know the, the last year, 400 people were killed here in Los Angeles alone? I want any gang punk or any criminal who comes in to somebody's home with an AK-47 to think that maybe someone will be in that house waiting for him with another AK-47. I don't believe you're saying citizens should take the law into their own hands and determine who they're they not should taking the laws right. they are, there's a I'm telling you. there's a guy in new york right now who killed those three those three guys on the subway uh, guests okay you think that everybody mean, should take the law into their own hands and decide who they're going hey. to with? there is not a single civilian who needs a semi-automatic gun how many times of the year you know the reason we're supposed to bear arms for a militia is to to protect against an invasion of the united what states of america your family? by foreign governments why about something minute, your family? How many times has the United States of America been invaded by foreign governments? I am t- how many times in the history of the that 200 is beyond the no, point. No, it isn't. That's I'm why t- that was put into the Constitution. What I'm t- okay. what what I'm, to, what I'm, guide- wait a minute. What I'm, forget it. Hold on, damn it. Hold on a minute. What oh, I'm you saying. You at me. Shame on you. I said, damn it, and I'll say it again. Well, I got you, damn it. You're negating everything that was guaranteed in the Constitution. What I'm saying. Is in, in you are proclaiming anarchy what, in this no, country. No, I'm not. What yes, I'm saying are. in this country is every family has, has the right, right to kill the no, other person's family. Every, no, no. Like every, oh, every family has the right to defend their own families, right? Yes, in court, with lawyers, with the police, with swearing out arrests, without buying it. You, all right, how many of you young people have gone to a swap meet and you know darn well that those radios and the tires and the seats are hot and you go out and you buy it, don't you? Okay, you're buying a $200 rate. Okay, you're buying a $200 rate for 25 bucks that you know was stolen from someone else. You are, are contributing to the anarchy. You're contributing to the gang. Talk you're to me. The hey, why are you talking to my audience? Why are you talking to Hey, because I'm the host here. Is out there I'm too. the host. Talk to me. Okay. <laughs> But I know the people who support you do. Uh, they think they're don't people you, are. Don't you You're dare call my me. people thieves out here. I didn't say they were thieves. I said they are contributing to anarchy. I didn't say they were thieves. I said they are well, well, knowingly like, contributing to whole, anarchy. I think going against I, the law I, of the I, land. No, they're not. I think no, they're, 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 they're not against anarchy. When you anarchy. knowingly buy stolen property, you are contributing to anarchy, and you are telling the, you are telling the thief that he is the right, doing the right thing, and you're turning your back on it, and you're turning the no, other No, I'm not, and what I'm yes, saying is, what I'm saying, we should not leave ourselves naked and bare so that these people can come in and, and, and to, do it what they will. Let's talk something else. Let's talk to me. No, hold, on. Hold, 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 hold on. Bill wants to say, right. hold on. You're right. Hold on. Bill wants to ask something. Go ahead, Bill. Well, she was talking about the hot seat out there. I think she forgot. She's on the hot seat. Yeah. You're that's right. Oh, I am invited here because I am the voice of reason, and he knows Voice of reason? First, we gotta we gotta go on a break. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take a break and come back. Bring up when we come back. But but, but I want to wind up this segment and then we'll come right back and take some questions from the audience. I, I want to say this. It is high time that we stop worrying about the rights of criminals, and it's about time we started worrying about the rights of us, the law of It may be late, but the party never stops at Studio 55. Studio 55 isn't some trendy nightclub, just the summer's hottest meeting place and party line. 
Meet attractive new singles in your area right now for fun and new relationships. Best of all, Studio 55 is cheap. Only low long distance rates apply. Call 1-702-835-4444. Must be 18. That's 1-702-835-4444. Studio 55 for the time of your night. Like what you see? Then pick up the phone. Chat with the We Are 18 girls. That's 1-800-WE-ARE-18. Just $250 to $5.99 per minute for adults only. Always tan. Always wet. And always having fun. There are only two ways to reach us. By phone at 1-800-WE-ARE-18 or on the web. We love cyber. We're just 18. And you can call us. Or visit us at weare18.com. Stop drugs, save lives, protect the environment in the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard! Jobs that matter! You don't have to be alone tonight. Just call me. Pick up the phone! We're live. And we can have a really good time. Call is free. 1-800-983-5000. Must be 18. Pick up the phone. The hit comedy, Taxi, weeknights at 11. The excitement is here on KDOC TV. <laughs> We're back. Wally George here with Hot Seat Show. My guest is Ann Walker. We're talking about AK 47s and other assault weapons. And you know, these liberals keep whining on and on and on. Oh, it's terrible to have these weapons in the hands of law abiding citizens. Really? You know. You're no, no, hold on. I'm gonna say this. Oh. You, you see, in the hands of, in the hands of law-abiding citizens like all of us here tonight, right? Yeah. In the hands of law-abiding citizens, an AK-47 is it's not necessary. Is not gonna kill anybody, but it's gonna be there to protect us from society, oh, right? Wait, wait, you're talking, wait, I mean, Predicting everything you're saying, Wally. First of all, you said an AK-47 assault rifle. Rifle. Assault. What in the hell do you need a weapon for this? Hell! Oh! oh. You must keep your mouth clean. Yeah. Then don't invite me on here. I have, wait, you trying to limit my freedom of speech? What I'm saying, what wait I... Minute, wait, 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 get back to the idea you used the word assault. All right. Okay? Why does any ordinary citizen... Shh. Assault implies attack. It implies aggression. Okay? Attacking assault, a criminal, wait, right. Wait, wait, an assault weapon... Isn't that right? A, no! It is a military assault weapon. It was designed for the military to use on assaults against the enemy. Am I correct? Wait, no, 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 hold on. You, you yes, asked me a know? question. Yes, yes, I am. I'm answering you now. Yes. No, you are not correct. Now, I'll answer you. In what way? I'll you answer tell you. me how. I'll answer you. All Fine. weapons, all weapons are not designed for the military. No, the assault weapon assault is an AK-47 weapon, no. and there, an Uzi. There are people who, hold it. Uzis there are, are, are people, an assault wait a weapon there are, for the military. Let me talk, I'm in a big mouth. Why? You don't have anything I'm, I'm, I'm answering you. Now, you asked me a question. Hey. If you, if you ask me a question, let me answer you. Okay, now, go you ask ahead. Me, there, are, there are three reasons why law-abiding citizens should want to buy these weapons. Number one, to defend themselves against criminals. Number two, for target practice. Oh, really? Number three, oh, for hunting. Number four, they may be collectors, right? Hunting? Yeah. How can you hunt with an Uzi? You'll blow anything that you shoot at to pieces. Who are... All right, hold on, Ann. You will. Where do we draw the line? I mean, how many bullets do you have to do to kill a poor bunny rabbit or kill a squirrel? Well, wait a minute. Wait, you, wait you, a minute. You, you, you hit a whole magazine into one of these. You're going to tear Man, it Wait a minute. That's honey. Where do you draw the line? There are men. That's hey, what I'm telling hey, you. Hey, baseball bats mean. can kill people. Shall we ban baseball bats? No, 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 no. It's not the same thing, and you know it. It is it. the same thing. No, it isn't. One is just more. Uh, listen. No, it isn't. And I'm, I'm telling you. In this, hold it. And you go out and play baseball with an AK-47 and use it as a bat? Forget it. I'm telling you.
telling you this, Ann. Hold on. Hold it, gang. In this, in this time of our country, where because of weak need people like Mayor Tom Bradley, when the liberals have allowed the criminals to roam the streets. Oh, the Hold on, yes. I, yes, yes. The liberals, the, gangs, the liberals sure. have allowed the criminals to roam Man, the streets. You've had eight years of a conservative presidency, and we have more national debt, we have more drugs, we have more alcoholism, wow. and more gangs than we had eight years ago, and now you've got another four well, years. Of how do you explain then? Uh, how do you explain uh, then uh, that Ronald Reagan happens to be uh, by 73 percent of the people? voted the most popular president of all time. Because we have a very, because, because of the mentality that is rampant in today's society. Oh, we have forgotten stupid, right? our values. We've, one of the reasons we have gangs, one of the reasons we have drugs, and we have this problem with the weapons, is the morality right now in our country is the morality and the ethics are at a very low end. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, no, they're not. What the not. basis of this country Hold was on, founded on. I disagree with you. Morality has taken a great turn for the better under Ronald Reagan, we learned that it's okay to say prayer in school, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and, what and, he, hold on, what and he, under Ronald Reagan, we learned it, it's, it, we should say no to drugs, right? And under Ronald Reagan, we learned it's wrong to kill little innocent unborn babies, right? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Don't Wally, tell me morality is not bad. Why are we bad? abortion, why don't we have every pregnancy, every child be born, and then we're going to have such crowded conditions in the cities, and you know how we'll have birth control? We won't have abortion. Everybody will have a gun, and we'll shoot someone when they get in their way. We'll have more crazies running around the world. You think that's more humane? Is murder is more humane than abortion, right? To murder a grown person. These liberals are so un unbelievable. Right, right. We're, we're very believable, You're and that's what you don't want to hear. You don't like to hear the truth. Your priorities are so screwed up. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, you they're say, not. You no, say, they're not. I'm for life, I'm wait for a, liberty, and I'm for equality of life. You're, hold on. You're screwed I up. I have always asked for equality of life. Do you know how, how, how screwed up she is? She says, number one, it's okay to kill little unborn babies, but it's... But... But on the other hand, it's wrong for law-abiding citizens to have to guns kill each to protect other. themselves. To kill each other. I just, I, I'm almost speechless because I do not believe the stupidity of your mentality. Wait, wait. And it's your stupidity of your mentality hey, no, and your lack of it's your stupidity that makes you're, the problem in this it, country. It's, no, the We're pro talking about lack of morals and ethics. Kill anybody who doesn't agree with but, you. But you, have don't attack mind, but you don't Have well, automatic weapons. Just shoot someone down that you, you disagree You don't mind with. killing unborn babies. I don't personally kill them. I've never had an abortion. Oh. I've never created an abortion. carries a gun and kills my kid I'll tell you one thing. Years old. I would much rather kill a gang member with my Uzi than a little unborn child. And who determines who's a gang member? You? Wait a minute. No, that's a good point. Who is going to determine who's a gang member and who's not? You can say I'm a gang member, and I can say no, I'm not. It's because you said I'm a gang member, you can kill me with your Uzi. She obviously belongs to a gang of lunatics. You guys out there thinking about a hairpiece so you can look young and wonderful again? Think about silhouette hairpieces with that lace front that makes it look like the hair is growing right out of your head. Mention Wally George for a special discount on your fee at Silhouette Hairpieces. Say hello to Michael. He's the owner. They are fantastic. Silhouette. We're having a slumber party, and you're invited. But this party doesn't get started until you pick up the phone. You can just imagine what's on our minds right now. What's on yours? We want to know. 
Vince Wild all-night party has just begun, so don't miss out. Call 1-800-YES-GIRL right now. Must be 18. Don't hit the sack yet. Call us now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. Introducing Ed Sullivan's Rock and Roll Classics. Call now and get Ed Sullivan's smash hits of the 60s, featuring 14 of your favorite rock performances. Use your credit card and we'll throw in Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But wait, there's more. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll cut the price in half. You'll get two once-in-a-lifetime videos for only $9.99. Ed Sullivan's Rock and Roll Classics is not available in stores, so call now. Call 1-800-548-7100 to order Ed Sullivan's Rock and Roll Classics for only $9.99. Use your credit card and get a second video free. Or send $9.99 plus $3.99 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Call now. Welcome back now our final segment of Hot Seat for a Saturday night. And David, let's get our last guest on the Hot Seat tonight. Okay, as you might guess from looking at this guy, he is a graffiti artist and his name is Kane Too. <laughs> To able one. I understand what you do is you go all over Southern California spraying walls with your graffiti. Is that correct? No, that's not true, Wally George. <laughs> Don't tell me that's what you told me you do. Well, what I actually do is I go ahead and um, am I, I'm involved in um, creating a new message, Wally George. Um, this is a new culture that's being established, and I think uh, it's not vandalism at all. You spray graffiti on walls, don't you? No, I don't uh, spray on walls. I'm actually involved in creating a new culture and creating a new institution by uh, creating a new form of expression. And uh, well, Where do you do wait, this wait, new form of expression? Well, uh, we do it in and around town. Around town, we go ahead and... Um, but you paint places that you have no permission to paint, right? Well, we do that, but we're seizing public property for private advertisement. You can't seize public property, can you? revelant theme that we're trying. We're trying to institute a new form. A socially of... revelant theme. He seizes public property wherever he feels like doing his graffiti. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. If you want to express yourself, why in the heck don't you do it on a piece of paper, right? Yeah. What, what, what the vehicle is, is the public property so that more people can see the message that's being done out there. I don't want to see your stupid message. That's what, what do you think? I think more people want to see this message than you think, My Wally. Message. The whole idea is you can't go along on public property spraying or drawing on... As example, he brought a video down to show you the kind of stuff he does. Take a look at it. It's going to be on the screen any second. And this is the kind of stuff he's doing all over Southern California. Let's take a look at it. Audio guys. This is an art form, Wally, and we're trying to educate your audience. What kind of message are you trying to get across? We're trying to institute, institute a new change uh, involving society. Let me tell you something, pal. We're trying to voice. I'll tell you what you try to do. To hey, what you should try to do is go out and get a job. What do you think? Wally, this is a job. We're, we are public enlighteners. We are trying to educate your audience out And you're there. probably also on welfare, huh? Yeah. Hey, I have, yeah. hey, I have 
have news for you, pal. Hold on. You know, hold on. Hold on. You have a, a way of, of saying that you like to seize public property and spray your graffiti on it. Well, I have news for you. While you were in there putting your makeup on, David Kennedy was out putting graffiti on your car. <laughs> Like what you see? Then pick up the phone. Chat with the We Are 18 girls. That's 1-800-WE-ARE-18. Just $250 to $5.99 per minute for adults only. Always tan, always wet, and always having fun. There are only two ways.